Hey there, so we're gonna do a, a quick video on how to make a uh, like a wrist rolling uh, weight training thing for your grip and for your general like forearm uh, strength. And so what I'm starting with is just things that I had like around my space. And so I had like an old uh, standard hole like bicep curling dumbbell, adjustable dumbbell uh, handle, but you could use like anything like a one inch thick or maybe an inch and a quarter would probably be smarter, inch and a quarter to inch and a half inch thick wooden dowel. That would probably work fine, but if you happen to be able to pick something like this up, just like a generic, uh, again, standard hole uh, diameter, uh, barbell handle or dumbbell handle that is great the other thing that you're going to want and i uh, actually probably should have set this up faster it's like major amateur move here but i have a bunch of these are olympic uh size uh hold uh plates so just uh, again just generic plates that i had lying around that i don't really use anymore um, but they work well for this so this is an olympic hole which is a uh, size hole which is almost two inches uh two inches in diameter. Um, and then I had just another, again, basic generic standard hole uh, that I'm using as my base. Now, the rope that I'm using uh, for this rig uh, is just some rope that I had laying around. So you just wanna be able to tie like a, a, or fasten rather a strong knot. And you could use any size like whole plate as your base. I'm using a standard one again, because otherwise it's garbage. I'm not gonna use it for anything. Um, but you would want to tie and secure or fasten like a very well uh, secured uh, knot in this rope. I have it clamped, uh, so that's also an option. And then you just run it through the hole. So you could use an Olympic hole, it doesn't matter. Uh, but again, I just have that and that's a 10 pound weight and that's gonna function as my base. So the other thing you're gonna do, and again, for me, I have this end again clamped off. This rope is clamped off, but again, fasten like a good knot that's not gonna slip and that's all you need, okay, that's all you need. So uh, one end of the rope you have your weight, the other end of the rope, I'm gonna just run this around uh, my little narrow grip uh, dumbbell handle, and there we go. This is the base. So here I have a 10 pound weight on the end, and I have this guy uh, here, so as I start to curl this, I roll it up, roll, 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 and we are lifting the weight and we're working on our flexor group here, and we're just digging in with our fingertips and curling it over, and that's 10 pounds. So you could put anything you want as a base. You could do five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever it makes sense for you. I'm just using uh, 10. Now the reason why I suggested using the Olympic size whole uh, plates for, for the rest of it, and again, you could use this fives or whatever you want. I'm using tens, is because this, will fit, let me just pull this up, zip. This will fit around your handle and then run it through. And now where I had a 10 pound weight, I now have a 20 pound weight, right? So uh, just by having that Olympic size hole, you can make this more adjustable. And then again, just dig in with your fingers and crank it. And now you're lifting 20 pounds and then you just unwind it, and you do the, the same thing going back. But that's pretty much all it takes. Some sort of stick that's not like flimsy, that's not gonna fall apart, that's important, right? You don't want it to break. Again, like it probably at least an inch and a quarter thick, but you know, be smart about that. And then some rope that you can tie, use like a thick rope, like nylon would be good, like a, something that has like a good weight rating on it. If you pick that up at any hardware store, and then miscellaneous weights that you have lay, uh, laying around. Again, I have the Olympic weights because they fit around the dowel and it makes it adjustable instead of just being a fixed weight. And there you go, that's all there is to it. So these things you could typically pick up online on like Craigslist or something like that for pretty cheap. And you know, before you know it, you're just like lifting weights with your hands. Okay, so anyway, hopefully that's helpful for you to see that and, and put one of those together for yourself. All right, see you next time.